What is up YouTube Snoop12922 here coming at ya. Today I've got uh, one of the guys from out of my personal collection and as you all know I've had to restart collecting cards all over again. I had to sell my collection so uh, I'm starting out and this is one of the guys I collect. I don't know why his cards are not much much more popular why they are so cheap. I don't know. But if you're a beginning collector, you don't have a lot of money, you're looking for somebody to PC, this is someone I definitely recommend. Um, to give you his stats, his stats are, he's got so many awards that he's won. I just had to bring him up on the computer. Normally I'd put him right there in front of me. But anyway, I don't want this video too long. So here we go. He is, before I tell you who it is, give you some of the reports on it. He is a seven time all star. American League MVP in 1981, American League Cy Young Award winner in 81, four-time reliever of the year. <sighs> Unbelievable, but yeah, he is. Um, four-time League Rolades Relief Award winner, 1974 World Series MVP. He is the three-time League Game Pitch Leader, three-time League saves leader and that's American League and National League he's had over 30 he had 30 save seasons two of them back to back he won the World Series with the Oakland A's and in 82 he was inducted I'm sorry not 82 92 he was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame there's in the last clue I'll give you which everybody that collects should know he's got the handlebar mustache none other than Raleigh fingers I don't know why Raleigh's cards aren't more valuable or to me they're valuable he's one of the greatest pitchers that's ever lived when you talk about great pitchers Ruth was a good pitcher too Babe Ruth was a pitcher a lot of people don't know that Nolan Ryan you know and then you've got to talk about Raleigh fingers I mean the awards by themselves just lend themselves to Raleigh. Anyway, not to keep this video too long, um, the first card I've got is his 1969 rookie card. And you can see, you know, this card has nice sharp corners on it. The centering is just a hair bit off, but, you know, it is what it is. I think this is a great card. And for anybody that wants to collect Raleigh, you know, You've got to get this card. Number two is the 1973 Raleigh Fingers card with the Oakland A's. The next card of his I have, back it up off the camera a little bit. There you go. This is his 1973 card. Then I have two of these. This is the first one. And I gotta start backing this thing up off the camera a little bit, you know. It's hard for me to judge. I have to do a little work with the lighting too. But uh, that's the 74 card. This is the other one. And if you notice on this 74 card, right up there, when you're looking at the corners, this corner is a little the corner's a little damaged on that one. Also, it's very off-center with the rear cut. So that's why I've got two of them. But the cards are cheap. Uh, this, we all know, 1975. Raleigh Fingers, nice sharp card. This one, the back of it, it was on top. And you can see the stain from the bubble gum. But because the cards are cheap, that's why I got a second one of this card and the back of this one is very 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 nice clean card the other 1975 tops card right there this is my next one uh, this one is 1976 early fingers There, the 79 tops. 
Nobody wants to see my mug. You'd rather see his mug. This is the 81 Donruss. Right there is the 81 Fleer card. Whoa. Stacking them up on the side over here. And yes, they are all in uh, chronological order. This one is the 81 Tops card. I'm still trying to learn how far away to have it. The 82 Donruss card. The 82 Fleer. The 82 Tops card. I'm not a, you know, I'm not a big fan of the 82 ones. I think they, could, I think Tops could have got a much better picture of him pitching with him in his stride or something than just warming up with his jacket on. You know, because when you look at this one, you know, you've got him right in the middle of throwing. This is the Tops 1980, uh, which card is this one? Gotta go over here to my light a little bit. The 84 tops card the 85 Donruss card and this is my only patch card of Raleigh fingers right here this is the upper deck uh, G game used patch card and I think this is a 2007 or 2008 um, but this one is number one, number 19 out of 199, so it is a numbered card. Anyway, that's what I've got for Raleigh Fingers. Um, hope you guys like that. If you guys, if you don't have a whole lot of money, you're new to collecting, he's a great guy to collect, great guy to research. Raleigh's still alive, he still does autographs and stuff. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. Well, that's it for today. I do have some mail days coming up very, very soon, very, very shortly. I've got a bunch more of his base cards coming in. And I'm going to get started with getting some of his autograph stuff in also. Anyway, I'll carry you guys along for the journey as I rebuild my collection. Snoop12922, and I'm out ya. See ya.